I arrive to work around 7.15 a.m. I go grab a scrub card and I go get my scrubs, a top and a bottom, and then I go grab a coffee to start the day. So my first shift in pediatrics was at the NICU. So we usually get consulted when there's a high risk delivery and the obstetrics team believe that the baby may need some extra support such as oxygen, glucose control, or if there's a risk of an infection. So we bring the baby over to this machine and it warms the baby and it keeps track of the vitals to make sure their heart rate and breathing are okay before we bring them over to the NICU. And over the next few days or weeks, we'll try to monitor the baby for weight gain, ensure they're feeding well, and fix any underlying issues before sending them home. For lunch, I get myself a coconut chicken meal with some soy milk on the side. I have about 15 minutes for lunch, so I eat this really quickly and I get back to work. So after lunch, we're usually seeing our assigned patients. We might also be doing some consults and we could be changing the management of some of the babies that are not stable or who might need a little bit of tweaking to their diets or to their medications. We finish work around 7 p.m. and uh, this is when we head out. I have a research meeting at the Montreal General Hospital, so I head there around 7 p.m. And after I finish my meeting, I grab myself some dinner. And uh, by the time I get home, it's around 8 p.m. And the day finishes around here. This is the evening shift team. What's up? Hey, what up? There's some people's phone numbers in the back though. Yeah. Oh. I love to blow those out. Yeah. Along with Zara's face. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just tell me what you guys do then. Wait, this is like two. Wait, cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> cut. These are my night shift buddies. <laughs> they're matching? Oh yeah, they're matching. So why do you have the goggles? Wait, no, you can't do that to me. <laughs> 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 Not asking questions. So right now it's like 11 p.m. and we're at the Glen Hospital. So we're at the Children's Hospital on our pediatrics rotation. Uh, I'm just finished and uh, it was a long day. I started at 2 p.m. and been running around doing admissions and physical exams and all of that and a lot of learning until now and uh, I'm joined by what's his name? Jerome <laughs> Get interaction <laughs> and Zara's filming and I'm filming I'm laughing hey yeah so I'm about to go home it's been a long day Perfect. what did you learn? what did I learn? well I can't say it because that would be breaching uh, confidentiality <laughs> That means, but I learned that a means lot. you learned nothing. I learned a lot. <laughs> I learned about weak excuse eating disorders. I learned about viral infection, and uh, pretty much do a mission every single day. Uh, it takes like five hours, so it takes a good chunk of the work day out. And tomorrow it's going to be ER, so I'll be doing ER from eight thirty to four thirty tomorrow. People say you get a lot of exposure in ER because people come here with all undifferentiated problems and you're like the, the gateway into the hospital. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Okay. It's... What's up, Irene? It's snowing. I got my ice cap. Got my dinner. Have eaten since 11 a.m. probably. 
But this is the first snow in Montreal this winter so far. Exciting. I'm on my way to work for the second last day of my pediatric clinicship rotation. Today we had a lecture in the afternoon about approaches to abdominal pain, one of the most common complaints in the pediatric population. You realize that children always point to and refer to the abdomen despite having nothing to do with it. Again, a few common causes of abdominal pain are viral gastroenteritis, appendicitis, pneumonias, constipation, or UTIs. You know, work is pretty tough and sometimes you just need a 5 minute nap to recharge. And for my last lunch in Pete's, I had a beef bourguignon with a side of broccoli, rice, and then chicken noodle soup. Thank you everyone for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. This was a very brief glimpse into my pediatric clerkship rotation. I know I didn't capture every single detail and every single aspect, but that's just because I couldn't bring my camera and film the patients and film anything that was confidential. So I tried my best to capture everything surrounding it, like what I'm eating, my classes, and uh, what I'm doing between seeing patients. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And happy holidays.